guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies. So let's check out the market before we get to today's topic. So we've got market cap of 267 billion and Bitcoin is hovering around 6.7, currently being at 6.624, Ethereum is 470 and Ripple's below 50 cents. We can see there is a fair share of green and red in today's market and this is quite normal. It's definitely more normal rather than all green or all red. So let's get on with today's topic. Today we're gonna talk about Monaco and the recent news, I should probably say. So Monaco is currently at 76 on coin market cap and it's trading at $8.46 down 2% with a market cap of 133 million and a total supply of 31 and a half million tokens its all time high was an impressive $24 and it's currently so we could we could say it's three times down from its all time high if you could look at it that way you can currently get it at OK exchange binance abid huabi so on all the main ones that everyone probably has yo bid cryptos so it's we could say it's wildly available, which is always a good sign. Now let's get on to the video, shall we, and speak about what is Monaco coin for those of you who don't know. So it'll be a little explanation and then we'll check it out what exactly they're doing. So we're gonna go on a Monaco website and we're gonna be on this section on about, so I can explain a little bit better to you. So Monaco card is a Visa brand debit card that travels from a cryptocurrency funded bank account. Since it's a Visa card, you can use your Monaco card just like you would with any other card basically. The card and Monaco bank account are free for holders of the cryptocurrency. In order to open up account, you just simply sign up, verify your identity and transfer any of the various accepted cryptocurrencies to your account. At this time, Monaco is available to customers in Asia. They also have a waitlist for European customers. Customers in the United States cannot currently use Monaco. However, there are plans to change that. What's very important about Monaco card account is that it has no minimum balance and no monthly fees. There is, however, a $200 limit on free ATM withdrawals and an interbank exchange of $2,000. If you choose to invest and hold the Monaco token, then you can upgrade to a limited edition card. These cards have higher limits on ADMs and interbank transfers in addition to looking cooler than the free card. Solving the problem of everyday payments has the potential to be huge for cryptocurrency. However, Monaco card is not the only project attempting to create crypto bank debit or like prepaid cards. Other projects are like 10x and are working on the same issue. All of these projects run into challenges implementing such cards in a large-scale, compliant manner. Monaco hopes to crack the code ultimately getting cryptocurrencies and popular payment methods to play nicely together. The whole idea behind Monaco is to make everyday spending with cryptocurrency easy. If more people can pay with cryptocurrency at a coffee shop and grocery stores, then it becomes much more appealing to hold cryptocurrency. And up until now, the usefulness of crypto for spending has been a major roadblock to adoption. So Monaco's solution basically integrates a mobile app and a Visa branded Monaco card. To get started, you would deposit cryptocurrency into the Monaco account. After that, you can spend the cryptocurrency using the Monaco card. Monaco takes care of the exchange and conversion. What's more is that Monaco handles the exchange at the lowest cost possible without charging the user any processing fees. A such Monaco business model does not revolve around making money of its customers. Instead, Monaco makes its money from the merchants its customers shop with. Merchant card processing fees are typically 3 to 4% of transaction. Of that, Monaco takes 1.5 to like 2%, I think, on every transaction. So if you've actually been listening to what I was saying and the whole concept of it, and then you think about what Satoshi Nakamoto was actually vision of for crypto, it sounds like it's going a bit against it and it's important to mention that many crypto fanatics consider using a Visa card to be a sellout move. According to them, Satoshi wanted crypto to replace Visa and not work with it. This is largely a philosophical de debate as on one hand Visa has an established system and market dominance right now. It makes sense to partner with them. Like, but on the other hand, relying on a centralized institution like Visa does undermine much of crypto's appeal. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide where you fall on this issue. One thing is for sure, 
more projects will come along addressing this issue. So now let's get on to the news, shall we? So we're gonna go on to this website today. And Monaco announced its rebrand to Crypto.com, reflecting its mission to accelerate the global development, adoption, and transition to cryptocurrency. Its integrated portfolio of premium consumer cryptocurrency products, previously known as Monaco, including their wallet app and Visa payment cards, will be branded as MCO to align with the name of the company's token. Additionally, Crypto.com MCOs has published an updated white paper today to recap achievements so it's for highlighting its vision, strategy, new products and services in its pipeline. What's important to mention in this whole buy-off and chain, name change and all those things surrounding it is that the rebrand to Crypto.com does not affect any MCO Visa card royal rollout schedule. So under Crypto.com, the MCO product brand established a unified entity for its new and existing consumer product and service offering so like we said the mco products that are currently there is the we've got the mco visa card that my face is covering now sorry for that a card that allows users to basically spend cryptocurrency anywhere visa that is accepted we also have the wallet app a mobile wallet that allows users to buy, exchange and send four cryptocurrencies and even seven fiat currencies and track over 200 coins in the cryptocurrency market. We have also have the Crypto Invest, which is a, like a robo-advisory cryptocurrency investment tool, basically. And there is also the Crypto Credit Card. And it's it speaks for itself. It's a crypto credit service that allows customers to deposit their cryptocurrency and receive credit to spend with their MCO Visa card. So let's see what sort of services and benefits they actually have. We have the Crypto Wallet Cashback, a program offering up to 1% cashback rewards for all purchases and exchanges of cryptocurrency in the Monaco Wallet. Then we have the Crypto Wallet itself. We've also got like some crypto airdrops, I'm pretty sure. Um, ad hoc token airdrops for users for selected tokens listed in the Monaco Wallet app. There is also the Platinum Referral Reward Program, which is a unique pair referral program offering up to a never seen before 10,000 sign up bonus per card holder. So, more details and any other extra news are available on their white paper, which I highly recommend to read. Have a quick brief look on it basically so before you decide to invest or you'd like to just educate yourself more and see and have an opinion about visa cards in cryptocurrency it's worth having a quick look or a further analysis and maybe potentially investing in it this is not professional financial advice either this is just me summarizing monaco becoming crypto.com and what sort of uh, benefits it possibly might have so guys before i finish let me know if you're actually invested into Monaco or what do you actually think of it? Do you think it's got any sort of a potential use case or is it just or is it just slap in the face for Satoshi? So guys, if you are yet to subscribe to our channel, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, video or learned something new or you just completely hate the whole idea of it, then leave a dislike and leave me a comment saying why you hate it or why you actually love it. Remember to follow us at All Combust Ladies on Twitter, where you can stay up to date with all the videos that we do and everything that we're planning whenever I'm going, for example, live, because I've been, I've been doing that for quite a while now. Like recently I talked about Cardano and possible partnership. And it's worth staying obviously up to date with your favorite channel. I hope that's us. And if you enjoy what I do, then follow me at CryptoSara, where it's just, you know, my normal channel and I post loads of things like Sunday morning, let's dream and play a bit. Coming with one old you thing will still be around in five years. What do you even predict it to be by then? So let's actually see what you've guys posted. So we've got Zare, we've got Neo. A chain, Bitcoin private, Digibyte, Neo, Dragon, Zara again. Not entirely sure what Zara is. Um, Loop, Elastos, V chain, yes, V chain, V chain, Safex, Walton chain, Cardano, Project ECC. Yeah, so there's quite a fair amount of Bitcoin private, Neo, there was also some V chain. So it's good to see that our Cardano as well. 
So it's good to see what your opinion is about. And I do agree with most of them, actually. So hopefully, in five years' time, you'll all still be listening to me. I'll still be making videos. And we'll look at this post and be like, oh my god, you were right, you were wrong. Anyway, I'm a bit off topic now, so I better finish. You guys have a good one, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!